Hello, what's up guys? Hope you are doing fine. I have come up with more interesting news related to PC hardware today. And this time things are getting out of hands. The thing is, we already know what is going on with the graphics cards availability and their pricing. But as I told earlier, before this thing gets to normal, graphics cards will see some more price increase in the first half of 2022. The first report is about the RX 6000 series graphics cards. It comes from board channels forums, according to which AMD is going to increase pricing of RX 6000 graphics cards by up to 10%. Things were already not good, so it might or might not surprise you, but according to AMD, the culprit for this price hike is TSMC. The Taiwanese semiconductor company has increased its chips prices drastically and therefore this hike was coming one day anyway. The global silicon chip shortage is the reason why TSMC had to increase the prices of their GPU chips and thus AMD has informed all of its board partners that it is going to increase the prices up to 10% which roughly translates to $2240 in US. AMD's RX 6000 series graphics cards already saw a 9% increase in the price in this month compared to October and therefore the total price hike is now 19% in a single month. So this Black Friday will be much worse than the previous year, however, as I said earlier, things will only get better in the second half of 2022. So till then, enjoy your old GPU or buy an APU like Ryzen 5600G or 5700G if you cannot wait anymore. Another sign of GPU shortage can be seen on NZXT website. The company has recently listed a PC build on their website by the name of Foundation PC, which has some decent PC hardware, but without any graphics card. It features Ryzen 5600G, 16GB of RAM, B550 chipset motherboard and of course no graphics card at all. They wanted to play games on Ryzen 5600G APU's Vega 7 graphics. Vega 7 is not a bad iGPU at all but it can't compete with any mid or a high end GPU. But as the situation of the GPU market has already gotten worse, NZXT is also trying to cut off GPU from their pre-built gaming PCs. Now let's take a look at the CPU market. Here we find that Intel has started to ship its 12th gen Alder Lake processors to the laptop manufacturers. Intel already released the desktop Alder Lake CPUs a few weeks ago and their general manager of client computing group tweeted on Twitter that they have achieved another milestone by shipping their high performance mobile processors to their customers. According to various sources, these are the Alder Lake Edge processors which are now going to be soon available in laptops. Desktop Alder Lake processors have already proved that there are deal breaker and great performance in games and CPU intensive applications. And their mobile edge series CPUs aren't weak too. From different leaks we have already seen that the Core i7 12700H has crushed the Apple M1 Max and Ryzen 5900HX in Cinebench. So users can now have better performance overall once these laptops are available in the market. So what do you think about AMD's price hike in their GPUs? And will you buy the new laptops featuring Alder Lake processors? Let me know in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel if you are new here because more interesting news are coming on the way. And I will see you in the next one.